Chapter Two, Part D. The Old Woman and Her Pig, adapted from Joseph Jacobs' English Fairy Tales, from How to Tell Stories to Children by Sarah Cohn Bryant, read for LibriVox.org by Sean McGahey. It happened one day that as an old woman was sweeping her house, she found a little crooked sixpence. What, said she, shall I do with this little sixpence? I will go to market and buy a little pig. On the way home she came to a stile, but the piggy wouldn't go over the stile. So she left the piggy and went on a little further till she met a dog. She said to him, Dog, dog, bite pig. Piggy won't go over the stile and I shan't get home tonight. But the dog wouldn't bite piggy. A little further on she met a stick. So she said, Stick, stick, beat dog. Dog won't bite pig. Piggy won't go over the stile and I shan't get home tonight. But the stick wouldn't beat the dog. A little further on she met a fire. So she said, Fire, fire, burn stick. Stick won't beat dog. Dog won't bite pig. Piggy won't go over the... Piggy won't get over the stile, and I shan't get home tonight. But the fire wouldn't burn the stick. A little further on she met some water. So she said, Water, water, quench fire. Fire won't burn stick. Stick won't beat dog. Dog won't bite pig. Piggy won't get over the stile, and I shan't get home tonight. But the water wouldn't quench the fire. A little further on she met an ox. So she said, Ox, ox, drink water. Water won't quench fire. Fire won't burn stick. Stick won't beat dog. Dog won't bite pig. Piggy won't get over the stile. And I shan't get home tonight. But the ox wouldn't drink the water. A little further on she met a butcher. So she said, Butcher, butcher, kill ox. Ox won't drink water, water won't quench fire, fire won't burn stick, stick won't beat dog, dog won't bite pig, piggy won't get over the stile, and I shan't get home tonight. But the butcher wouldn't kill the ox. A little further on she met a rope, so she said, Rope, rope, hang butcher. Butcher won't kill ox. Ox won't drink water. Water won't quench fire. Fire won't burn stick. Stick won't beat dog. Dog won't bite pig. Piggy won't get over the stile, and I shan't get home tonight. But the rope wouldn't hang the butcher. A little further on she met a rat. So she said, Rat! Rat! Gnaw rope! Rope won't hang butcher. Butcher won't kill ox. Ox won't drink water. Water won't quench fire. Fire won't burn stick. Stick won't beat dog. Dog won't bite pig. Piggy won't get over the stile. And I shan't get home tonight. But the rat wouldn't gnaw the rope. A little further on, she met a cat. So she said, Cat, cat, kill rat. Rat won't gnaw rope. Rope won't hang butcher. Butcher won't kill ox. Ox won't drink water. Water won't quench fire. Fire won't burn stick. Stick won't beat dog. Dog won't bite pig. Piggy won't get over the stile. And I shan't get home tonight. But the cat said to her, If you will go to yonder cow and fetch me a saucer of milk, I will kill the rat. So away went the old woman to the cow. But the cow refused to give the milk unless the old woman first gave her a handful of hay. So away went the old woman to the haystack, and she brought the hay to the cow. When the cow had eaten the hay, she gave the old woman the milk, and away she went with it in a saucer to the cat. As soon as it had laughed up the milk, the cat began to kill the rat, the rat began to gnaw the rope, the rope began to hang the butcher, the butcher began to kill the ox, the ox began to drink the water, the water began to quench the fire, the fire began to burn the stick, the stick began to beat the dog, 
the dog began to bite the pig the little pig in a fright jumped over the stile and so the old woman did get home that night end of story this recording is in the public domain